Welcome to New Vegas Mod Clinic Part 11. Now this episode is going to be a short one and it's going to cover one mod but this mod is taking Nexus by storm. It really is turning out to be an absolutely essential mod. It's small, it's simple and it's absolutely brilliant. And that mod is the Weapons Mod Menu. Now one of the major weaknesses with the weapon mods in New Vegas is the fact that you cannot take them off. You, c you just can't remove them from weapons once you've put them on. Now those of you who played Fallout 3 will remember you could actually add the weapon mods to the weapons and remove them. That is of course if you were using Anti-Star's weapon mod kits. And it's been a, just a real pain not being able to do this and basically this mod, the weapon mod menu, lets you do exactly that. It lets you take weapon mods off your weapons and use them again. It really is that simple, but it has such an amazing impact on how you play. Basically, you'll swap mods left, right and center. You don't have to save them for your unique weapons. You don't have to um, worry about selling the weapon afterwards because it's got weapon mods and you feel you've wasted them. You just take the silencer off the gun, put it on another one, which is perfectly reasonable as well. So, I mean, take this. This is a 45 pistol, and it's got a silencer on it. I go to my pit boy. Go to weapons. A light shining in the darkness. Now, this is the actual named gun, the unique. But let's just say it wasn't. Let's just say I had the normal one and just wanted to take the silencer off, etc. and put it on the named one when I found it. I press X. Now you'll see the weapon mod menu is a little different now. It essentially lists the three mods that this pistol can have. It tells me that I have all three mods on currently. It also tells me if I have any spare ones. I don't. Count zero. But it lets me remove them. So let's remove the silencer. I click on it. You'll notice now I've got one in my inventory. And this is no longer selected. So let's close my pit boy. And there you go. Silencer has been removed. It's as simple as that. It really is. I mean, there's absolutely nothing more to it. It could not be easier. Putting it back on. It's that. And that's it. I mean, and it works for just about every weapon I've found. I think it works for every weapon. Um, the author says it does. And I've not found a single weapon it doesn't work for. And it works perfectly well with WMX. And I've been told it works perfectly well with WME. I mean, look at this hunting revolver. I'm going to sell this, actually. I was just on my way to sell this hunting revolver. But let's... Let's stick on one. I've got two of those. Two um, HD cylinders. Let's just add one. Oh! Oh, I've got a... <laughs> it's an easy way of getting that achievement. I guess I could just take the mods on and off. Put this back. Let's have a look. And I now have a modded hunting pistol. Now I'm going to take it off because I'm going to sell it. But that's it. I mean, really, that is it. That's the, all there is to this mod. It could not... It could literally not be simpler. The weapon mod menu is a single file download again. Just download that file. And once it's finished downloading, open up the Fallout Mod Manager. Click Add Foe Mod and select the weapon mod menu archive. Then activate. Choose yes to all when prompted to overwrite. I shall do just that. And it is installed. It's that easy. Um, I'm going to put this for load order. I'm going to put it after WMX. I don't know whether it even needs to be or whether it matters, but uh, seems a reasonable place to put it for now. And there we are, finished. 
Now, one of the questions I'm being asked quite a lot is, does it require a unified HUD project? And that's because at some point during the installation, it tells you it's overwriting one of the files in your user interface mod. So if you're using Darn's UI, or I think MTUI as well, it will tell you you're overwriting a file. Um, and this is true, but what is actually happening is the mod is injecting what it needs into the file you already have. It uses the exact same technique as the Unified HUD project. Now, it does not require Unified HUD project to be activated and deactivated because currently it's the only mod I know of that's actually injecting anything into the weapon mod uh, menu file. So for now, you do not need to activate and deactivate the Unified HUD to get this mod working. And that's it for this video. Um, as you can see, it's a very short one, but I felt that this mod really, really did need highlighting just in case you hadn't actually seen it yet. I do have a much longer video planned for part 12. I'm not going to spoil the surprise as to which mod I'm using. And um, hopefully that won't take too long, but it's, it's going to require a little bit more time than this one. And in the meantime, feel free to leave a comment. And if you liked the video, click the thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.